Good afternoon. This is Akashwani and I am Naresh Mago with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Meri Mati Mera Desh campaign will be launched soon to honor martyred men and women. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister says Amrit Vatika to be built near National War Memorial in New Delhi. ISRO successfully launches seven Singaporean satellites on board PSLV C-56 rocket from Sri Harikota. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar says India's semiconductor mission is not just about meeting domestic requirements, but also aimed at contributing to global demand for trusted manufacturing. Indian team of Aman Saini and Pragati clinch gold in mixed team compound archery event at FISU World University Games in Chengdu, China. And in hockey, Indian women's team to take on host Spain in three-nation Torneo del Centenario 2023 in Terrassa today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said that Meri Marti Mera Desh campaign will be launched soon ahead of Independence Day to honor the martyred men and women. Addressing the nation in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi said that many programs will be organized across the country in the memory of the martyrs in the midst of the ongoing reverberations of Amrit Mahotsav. He added the special inscriptions will also be installed in lakhs of village panchayats. The Prime Minister highlighted that under the Meri Mati Mera Desh campaign, Amrit Kalash Yatra will be organized across the country. शहीद वीर वीरांगनाओं को सम्मान देने के लिए मेरी माटी मेरा देश अभियान शुरू होगा इसके तहत देश भर में हमारे अमर बलिदानियों की स्मृति में अनेक कार्यक्रम आयोजित होंगे इस अभियान के तहत देश के गांव-गांव से 7500 कलशों में मिट्टी लेकर यह अमृत कलश यात्रा देश की राजधानी दिल्ली पहुंचेगी Mr. Modi said Amrit Vatika will be built near the National War Memorial by fusing the soil and saplings that would arrive in the 7500 urns. Mr. Modi recalls that last year on Independence Day, the entire nation came together for Har Ghar Tiranga Abhiyan. He said that the tricolor should be hoisted at every house this year as well. Speaking about the menace of drugs, the Prime Minister hailed the efforts being made by people to tackle the evil. He said awareness is being spread in Jammu and Kashmir against drugs by innovative means like musical nights and bike rallies. Jammu Kashmir ke yuwaon ko drugs se bachane ke liye kai innovative prayas dekhne ko mile hain. Yahan musical night, bike rally jaise karakam ho rahe hain. Chandigarh mein is message ko spread karne ke liye Local clubs ko isse joda gaya hai. Ve inne Vada clubs kehte hai. Vada yani victory against drugs abuse. Punjab mein kai sports groups bhi banaye gaye hai. Jo fitness par dhyan dene aur nasha mukti ke liye awareness campaign chala rahe hai. Hame desh ki bhavi pidiyon ko bachana hai to unhe drugs se dur rakhna hi hoga. The Prime Minister gave the example of a village in Madhya Pradesh, Bicharpur, which is called Mini Brazil. It earned the name Mini Brazil as this village has become a stronghold of the rising stars of football today. The Prime Minister recounted that the journey of Bicharpur village to Mini Brazil commenced two and a half decades ago. This football kranti is now slowly 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 in the whole area. Sahadol and its areas of the area have been made more than 1200 football clubs. Here there are many players who are playing on the national level. There are many players on the national level. There are many players on the national level and coaches who are giving training here. That's why they say, where they want, there they are. 
On the topic of monsoons, Mr. Modi noted that the past few days have been full of anxiety and hardships on account of natural calamities. He said people in many areas have had to suffer due to flooding in many rivers, including River Yamuna. He said landslides have occurred in the hilly areas and the Bipar Joy cyclone hit the western parts of the country. The Prime Minister stressed that these calamities brought the power of collective effort to the fore. He further stated that local people, NDR of Jawans and local administration have worked day and night to combat such calamities. He expressed pride that the spirit of Sarvajan Hitai is the hallmark of India as well as the strength of India. Mr. Modi emphasized that this phase of rain is important for tree plantation and water conservation. More than 60,000 Amrit Sarovas have been built during the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. The work of building more than 50,000 Amrit Sarovas is currently underway. He praised people for making novel efforts for water conservation. He gave the example of the tribal people of Pakaria village in Shahdol, Madhya Pradesh. Pakaria village ke Adivasi Bhai Bheno ne isse lekar kaam bhi shuru kar diya hai. Yaha prashasan ki madad se logo ne karib 100 kuon ko वाटर रिचार्ज सिस्टम में बदल दिया है उत्तर प्रदेश में एक दिन में 30 करोड़ पैड लगाने का रिकॉर्ड बनाया गया है मैं चाहूंगा कि हम सब भी पैड लगाने और पानी बचाने के इन प्रयासों का हिस्सा बने मिस्टर मोदी स्पोक अबाउट द कांवड़ यात्रा अंडरटेकन ड्यूरिंग सेवन मंथ्स टू वर्शिप लॉर्ड शिव he said that numerous devotees are reaching the 12 jyotirlings on account of savan these days सावन की वजह से इन दिनों 12 ज्योतिर्लिंगों में भी खूब श्रद्धालु पहुंच रहे हैं बनारस पहुंचने वाले लोगों की संख्या भी रिकॉर्ड तोड़ रही है अब काशी में हर साल 10 करोड़ से भी ज्यादा पर्यटक पहुंच रहे हैं अयोध्या मथुरा उज्जैन जैसे तीर्थों पर आने वाले श्रद्धालुओं की संख्या भी तेजी से बढ़ रही है इससे लाखों गरीबों को रोजगार मिल रहा है उनका जीवन यापन हो रहा है Mr. Modi mentioned two Americans who'd come from California to perform the Amarnath Yatra. He also spoke about a woman of French origin, Charlotte Chopin, who is a yoga practitioner and a yoga teacher. She is over a hundred years old and has been practicing yoga for the last 40 years. She gives credit for her health to yoga and has become a prominent face of India's science of yoga and its strength in the world. The Prime Minister also made a mention of Ujjain, where 18 painters from all over the country are making attractive picture storybooks based on the Puranas. These paintings will be made in many distinctive styles, such as the Bundi style, Nath Dwara style, Pahari style, and the Upper Brahmsh style. These will be displaced in, displayed in Ujjain's Triveni Museum. Mr. Modi also referred to a unique painting by Prabhat Singh Morbai Barhat, who is an artist from Rajkot. This painting was based on an incident in the life of Chhatrapati Veer Shivaji Maharaj. The artist had depicted Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj going to visit his Kul Devi Tulja Mata after the coronation. The Prime Minister spoke of Suresh Raghavan from Vadavalli in Tamil Nadu who decided to preserve the information about plants and animals through his paintings. Suresh Raghavan documents the information by making paintings of varied flora and fauna. Till now, he has made paintings of dozens of such birds, animals and orchids which are on the verge of extinction. During the Monkey Bath program, the Prime Minister also mentioned the rare and ancient artifacts which were recently returned to India by the US. These have been made using terracotta, stone, metal and wood. America ne hume sao se jada durlab aur prachin kalakurtiya vapas lautai hai. Is khabar ke saamne aane ke baad, social media par in kalakurtiyo ko lekar khub charcha hui. Yuvao mein, अपनी विरासत के प्रति गर्व का भाव दिखा भारत लौटी ये कलाकृतियां 2500 साल से लेकर 250 साल तक पुरानी हैं दिस इज आकाशवाणी गिविंग यू द न्यूज फॉर क्विक न्यूज अपडेट्स राउंड द क्लॉक फॉलो अस ऑन आवर ट्विटर हैंडल एट एआईआर न्यूज अलर्ट्स The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, successfully launched 
seven Singaporean satellites, including DSSAR, on board PSLV C-56 rocket from Sriharikota today. PSLV C-56 slash DSSAR is the dedicated commercial mission of New Space India Limited, NSIL, for ST Engineering Singapore. Mission Director S. R. Biju said the totally dedicated commercial mission was carried out with utmost precision. PSLV C-56 carrying seven satellites, including the primary satellite DSR and six co-passengers, have been successfully placed in the right orbit. This is a mission of the PSLV for NSIL, and I want to congratulate the customers sponsored by Government of Singapore for having this mission on board PSLV and their continued faith in our PSLV for the spacecrafts from Singapore. ISRO Chairman S. Somnath congratulated the customers sponsored by the Government of Singapore for having this mission on board PSLV. PSLV C-56 carrying seven satellites have been successfully placed in the right orbit. This is a mission of the PSLV for NSIL and I want to congratulate the customers sponsored by Government of Singapore for having this mission on board PSLV and their continued faith in our PSLV for deploying the spacecraft from Singapore. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar has said that India's semiconductor mission is not just about meeting domestic requirements, but also aimed at contributing to global demand for trusted manufacturing. Speaking at the Semicon India Conference 2023 in Gandhinagar today, the minister emphasized India's strategic vision and ongoing efforts to secure a pivotal role in critical and emerging technologies. He highlighted the importance of self-reliance in semiconductor production, noting that it is closely tied to the country's goal of enhancing the quality and quantity of exports and becoming more deeply embedded in global value chains. In Himachal Pradesh, the meteorological department has issued a very heavy rainfall alert in many parts of the state for the next 24 hours. The rainfall continues intermittently in the state. Some areas in the state also experienced heavy rainfall yesterday. Due to the heavy rains in the past, the water level of the rivers and drains has increased and landslides have caused blockage of 362 connectivity roads, including two national highways, due to which people are facing several problems. In Bihar, the Med Department has predicted widespread rainfall across the state in the next five days. The forecast says heavy to very heavy rainfall may occur in East Champaran, Aurangabad, Kishanganj, Nawada and Gaya districts in the next 24 hours. Favorable conditions are prevailing for good rainfall as a trough line is passing through Patna and adjoining areas. The Indian team of Aman Saini and Pragati today clinched gold in the mixed team compound archery event at the FISU World University Games in Chengdu, China. Saini and Pragati beat the duo of Cho Swa and Park Seung Hun from South Korea 157 to 156. Pragati also won a silver medal with Avneet Kaur Purvasha in the women's team compound archery event. Vijay Veer Sidhu, Uday Veer Sidhu and others Singh clinched another silver for the country in men's 25-meter pistol rapid-fire team event. With this, India has so far won nine medals, which includes four gold, two silver and three bronze in the university games. India currently fourth in the medals table. In hockey, Indian women's team will face host Spain in the three-nation Torneo del Centenario 2023 in Terrassa today. Earlier, India beat Commonwealth Games champions England 3-0 in their third match yesterday. Lal Ramsiami scored a hat-trick for India. This was the Indian team's first win at the 100th anniversary Spanish Hockey Federation International Tournament 2023. In athletics, the Indian athletes won four medals with three gold and one silver on the second day at the Sri Lanka Athletics National Championships 2023 yesterday. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says Mary Marty Mera Desh campaign will be launched soon to honor martyred men and women. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister says Amrit Vatika to be built near National War Memorial in New Delhi. Ace Road lo- successfully launches seven Singaporean satellites on board PSLV C-56 rocket from Sri Harikota. External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar says India's semiconductor mission is not just about meeting domestic requirements but also aimed at contributing to global demand for trusted manufacturing. 
Indian team of Aman Saini and Pragati clinched gold in mixed team compound archery event at Fisu World University Games in Chengdu, China. And in hockey, Indian women's team to take on host Spain in three nation Torneo del Centenario 2023 in Terrassa today. And with that, we end the midday news.